Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Mirror Mirror. It's definitely the kind of comedy I really love that, that takes the true meaning of Snow White. Or sort of like that. It stars Julia Roberts, Lily Collins, Army Hammer, Nathan Lane, Jordan Prentice, Mark Pinelli, uh, Joe Northwell, Danny Woodburn, Sebastian Saracino, and Sean Bean. As the film opens after a beloved king vanish, who is played by Sean Bean, his ruthless wife, played by Julia Roberts as the evil queen, sees control of the kingdom and keeps her beautiful 18 year old stepdaughter. Snow White, who's played by Lily Collins, who happens to be Phil Collins' daughter, hidden away in the palace. But when the princess attracts the attention of a charming and wealthy visiting prince, the jealous queen banished the girl to a nearby forest. Taken in by a band of rebellious but kind-hearted dwarfs, a few of them played by Danny Woodburn and Mark Pobinelli, Snow White blossoms into a brave young woman determined to save her country from the Queen. With the support of her new friends, she wore into action to reclaim her birthright and win back her Prince Charming and everything turns the way it should be and fight back the evil Queen. Now for this story, out of all the two films I've seen between Mirror Mirror and Snow White and the Huntsman, this had to be the best adaptation I've seen because it's directed by Tersim Singh who also did The Cell a great movie uh, one of the best uh, movies I've seen from his career he also did another film called The Immortals which is from the same producers that did 300 and I think he did a very good job doing this adaptation of Snow White even though this is considered as a comedy but it works so well I also like the cast in this film, including Danny Woodburn, as well as uh, Mark uh, Pavinelli, because I actually got to meet them for the first time um, at Inclusion Films. We actually did a Q&A with them, um, but it was definitely nice to meet them in real life. So, I mean, I always known Danny Woodburn from Seinfeld, so, and he's always been funny, you know, <laughs> nevertheless. But he's been in a lot of stuff too. Pavinelli had been in another film course called Water for Elephants which had of course Robert Patterson as well as Christopher Waltz and Reese Witherspoon but it wasn't that good of a film I mean it started out as a great pre I mean it's a great premise though I mean half of the cast were good but I think Robert Patterson is totally miscast in this movie that I just think this movie could have been a whole lot better but anyway um, Everything was just everything was just hilarious all the way around. I loved the look at the film. It was it was amazing. It had very good special effects. Everything just looks exactly what I pictured a Snow White movie, as far as I'm concerned. And I'll tell you this though, in my opinion, this is a much better film than Snow White and the Huntsman, because I can't believe how stupid and and thoughtless of how how dreary that picture was because of the darkness and the seriousness and everything it just didn't work for a Snow White movie and plus the miscasting of Christian Stewart as Snow White big mistake it's like you know it's like out of all the films I had to see prior to that stupid Twilight series it's like now we had to end up having these two in, in another film and yet they get totally miscast for that it's just ridiculous because frankly I think the director probably should have known better before doing this movie and unfortunately you know they had to get away with it did you know there's going to be a sequel to that by the way go figure but in my opinion I think it would have been nice if they had a sequel to Mirror Mirror don't you think that would be awesome compared to this piece of shit that we're getting but anyway I, I really enjoy this movie a lot I saw this in theaters and I, I now have the Blu-ray with DVD and everything. 
as well as the soundtrack. It's amazing. The soundtrack, of course, was done by Alan Minkin, who's the composer who did all my favorite films of all time, such as Little Shop of Horrors, Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, as well as Enchanted. Awesome. He's one of the best composers who ever lived. Um, other than that, though, it's a great film. Definitely worth checking out. So anyway, I give Mirror Mirror four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.